Steve Ray here. This is the first time we've done the uh, Wisconsin Shrines pilgrimage. And so we're very happy how well it went, how smooth and organized, thanks to corporate travel for their excellent work of preparing this all in advance. And for Rochelle and Aaron, our two tour managers who are with us, they did an excellent job. And all the people who were with us, it was a great trip. And I asked a few what they thought. And so here's what we found out. Uh, this is, this is our, our sixth uh, pilgrimage with Steve and Janet and this one met all the expectations we had it was it was terrific we, we thought the shrine of uh, St. Joseph and the consecration of St. Joseph was wonderful and of course Our Lady of Good Help the only approved apparition site in North America it, it was just all, all wonderful and with and um, Cardinal Burke speaking and getting to meet him personally and uh, the facility where I can't that I can't remember the name of it was all great just loved it Thank you, Steve. It is our, uh, my second pilgrimage with you, Steve. It was everything I had hoped for. Um, I can't tell you how blessed we are to have you to give us an American uh, pilgrimage when we couldn't go overseas. And especially, thank you for Cardinal Burke Amen. and everything he did for us on this trip. Steve, well, thank you. I thought the trip was amazingly wonderful, and I praise God and thank God for Steve Ray pilgrimages, and I am saying right now, praise the Lord for people like Steve and Janet. <laughs> Amen. Your thoughts on the pilgrimage? What did you think of the pilgrimage? <laughs> uh, I didn't hear enough of the Steve Ray talking. <laughs> I won't talk to him more. <laughs> I would say that this was a deeply spiritual pilgrimage and that everybody was so friendly. It was wonderful to meet people from all over the United States who came to honor our Blessed Lady here right on our own land and to be in the um, shrine where the only approved uh, apparition of our Blessed Lady, that that just in a way gave me goosebumps. So I thank yeah. you Steve and Janet. You're this welcome. was wonderful. I hope you do it again. I don't know. I'm, I'm sticking with you next year too. Okay. Good. Well, I thought it was wonderful. It was very educational. I learned quite a bit. I saw some very pretty sights and I would highly recommend it to anyone who's interested in coming. You come. Perfect. Oh, Steve. That, that was such an uh, extraordinary opportunity to see Our Lady of Good Help in a land where I'm from, in central Wisconsin, um, and um, also uh, the St. Joseph Shrine in the United States, something I didn't know about and came to know. And more and people need to know about it. Yes. They're well organized, well thought of, uh, accommodations were great, and more than anything, the spirituality of the trip was a hallmark. Thank you very much. I loved it. It was great, and I re really enjoyed getting to read for the Cardinal. <laughs> very good. So, Thanks for coming with us. Yeah, it was great. Thank now, you. Now that I, I, I know what to say, you, you caught me off guard last time. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, go. Uh, we had a wonderful time. I can't describe in words how peaceful, how calm, how grace-filled the entire weekend was. We had such a wonderful time. We look forward to the next time we get together with you guys because this is two in the last couple of months and both times it was an escape from the world, an escape from all the pressures of everything that we all want to get away with, away from, and we're thrilled to have been here. We really enjoyed Thank ourselves you, Steve. very much. Thank you. Thank to Janet. This, this was an amazing experience. I got to be able to assist with uh, Cardinal Burke. I got to meet a whole bunch of people that were wonderful and uplifted my soul and we got to consecrate ourselves to St. Joseph. It really enlivened me to be able to serve the people of God and to know that the church is still alive and vibrant and well. It was great having a deacon like you along with us. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, it was an honor. The Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe was amazingly beautiful. I finally got to meet Cardinal Burke. It's been on my list for a long time and, um, and the, the, other, the other shrines as well. Um, it's sad we didn't have more time, but that's the way it is when you, <laughs> you have a short pilgrimage and yeah. you have a lot of beautiful things to see. I was, just, I was blown away just with all the people and just, just, just such a great group of people surrounding ourselves on this pilgrimage, visiting just these wonderful sites. 
just a blessing. No, it's just beautiful. All the sites were beautiful and just the presence of the saints that are with us is beautiful. The shrine was, I would have spent the whole day there if we could have. And, but get to meet Cardinal Burke in person. Yeah. Oh, that was special. That was worth the whole cost. Yes, I'm glad we did. It was, it was the spiritual um, pilgrimage like we have overseas. That's what I feel like I got through this. The um, mass also. yesterday was really, really good. And your talk yeah. was good. That is and correct. That was a good, good afternoon. You know, I, I, the, just the people that uh, on this pilgrimage with us was probably the greatest thing to, to be with sort of like-minded people. The Catholic is uh, just inspiring and uplifting that we could uh, have so many things in common. We talked to several different couples at different meals and uh, it's just uplifting to, to see people like us uh, and sharing these experiences. Especially after being locked away for so long. Yes, <laughs> yes. I thought it was wonderful, and it, I never knew Wisconsin had things to do like this. I look at the tour books at AAA, there's nothing listed that we went to, and I'm surprised because everybody should be going to these, whether they're Catholic or not, because it's like, this is where we started. I mean, these, the people up here are very nice, it's like people we knew when we grew up, and we all got away from that, but they're still got that at home atmosphere. It was wonderful, very fulfilling, and just more than, you know, I expected as far as getting the two indulgences, and just being no, all just faithful Catholics. Words can't describe what I feel in my heart, and I'm just so grateful to you and Janet for putting it together and just taking care of us. It was wonderful. The trip was excellent. I mean, it was beautiful. It was cool to see the... Uh, uh, the beautiful shrines just in our backyard almost, I mean, from Illinois, but um, there's so much to see in such uh, an intimate space of geography, and I think it's worth it. It was really cool that we were given the opportunity to meet so many people, be with Stephen Janet and Father Tim. It was just, it was just so fun. And to, to speak with Colonel Burke, to yeah. say Holy Mass with them is a highlight of the year for sure. Yeah, it was a real joy to be with all the people on the bus and all the people on the tour and of course uh, Steve and Janet and um, uh, just it was a great moment of faith to be able to see all of these shrines uh, particularly in the year of St. Joseph to go to the pier and uh, as Father Matt said to see all the um, things that are so close to us in Chicago so uh, heartily recommend it and uh, had a great time with Father Matt as well and really enjoyed just relaxing and being on the bus and, and being with people. Oh, I enjoyed it immensely. I really enjoyed going to um, Our Lady of Help. And of course we brought our friend Carol who had passed away who was supposed to be on the trip. And so we brought her with her and kind of symbolized her with our blue, um, was it? not bandana, the headpiece. And, we had a great time. Thank you so much. I loved it. It was great to travel with Steve and Janet again, and that great talk on St. Joseph was thank what you. I was looking forward to. That that was the, the clincher for me, so thank you so much. It was great. I enjoyed the uh, Shrine of Guadalupe the, the best. Uh, it was fantastic being with Cardinal Burke. It was, it was just very moving, and it just uplifted um, our faith during this time of pandemic and everything happening within the church and it was so uplifting that it just makes you on fire again. Well we enjoyed it a lot. So. The churches were, were you know uh, beautiful and um, it, oh, it was a thrill to have uh, the Cardinal say mass and then give the talk and be so cordial and everything. Yes. Uh, it was just great. We enjoyed that and we enjoyed all the pilgrims. It's like yeah. uh, just talking to people from all different states and um, and the one uh, family from Mexico. Oh my gosh, they that we had dinner with them last evening, and that was the perfect ending, kind of, because their their 
you know, there's hope for the world. I mean, the children are so, uh, you know, Catholic and uh, wonderful, and uh, that was great. So. Thank you, Randy. Just got to say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Bye, Steve. I hope you all enjoyed the trip. Good. And uh, thanks for coming again with us all, the many, uh, our veteran pilgrimage, pilgrims. And we sure had a good time showing you these places. And uh, thanks for joining us again. God Thank bless you. you all. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm as tired after this as I am through eight days going through Israel. I don't know why. And I'm not even jet lagged. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rochelle, for doing a great job. My pleasure. Can't leave without getting your comments on the pilgrimage as usual. Uh, I would recommend it. I hope, hope you keep doing it, Steve, and uh, we'll probably be back on it soon. soon. Okay. Yeah. All right, Michaela, what do you think? Had a great time. Great people. Great tour. How many times you been with us? Six. Six times. Oh, this is the sixth, I think. Yeah. Six great. On these pilgrimages, so I consider each one of you handpicked by the Lord to be on this pilgrimage with these people for I do not know what reasons. But I pray that the Lord will give you the grace to do whatever he tells you, like Mary said. Uh, we'll be praying a rosary as soon as we get in the car for all of you pilgrims and for the fruits, to, that you would bear fruits for this pilgrimage. So God bless you. Please keep us in your prayers, and I will continue to pray for all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Everyone loves priest's vocation stories. Here's Father Tim and Father Matt sharing theirs on their way back to the airport. And for all the people who came by air and bus, there goes our bus with everybody waving. You can't see them, but they are. And there they go back to the airport after a great pilgrimage. So thank the Lord for a great time. Amen. <laughs>